I think I'm with Yank on this one. I think I kind of like this one. Isn't that one? It has a it has a nice look to it. I got a call from one of my uh, friends who was up at a farm stand in, in northern New Hampshire, and he said, "Hey, guess what? They're they're taking silver in exchange for vegetables and fruit, and uh, they post a price at 8:30 in the morning, and again at 1:30 in the afternoon. And everybody." Yeah, you know, has the option of using either U.S. currency or silver for uh, for uh, trade. Are you a new stacker? A new stacker. Really? Who, how we got you into it? I guess Yankee stacking. <laughs> Hey, Tim, how you doing? Uh, I could be better. You couldn't be better? No, I said it could be better. You could, what, what's going on? Um, I, I need you to come in every day and, and mail the packages. How's okay. that? <laughs> All right. Tim, how's it going? I got a quick question. As a newbie, so how do we figure out the spot price and what your... The spot price is pretty easy. There are a lot of places online that carry it. Um, the one I use is Kitco. Kitco is a Canadian company. Okay. Uh, they're tied into the Comex. So if it changes every two minutes, it's up to date, always up to date there. Um, and we, you know, we sell things according to the asking price and we, uh, we buy things according to the bid price. It, usually it's very close, okay. you know, like a dollar maybe in gold and you know, 10 cents in silver. Um, but the the premiums we pay vary by whatever it is. If it's a, a five ounce silver bar, the premium is higher than a ten ounce silver bar. Uh, the premiums on American Eagle gold would be higher than the premium on a uh, Maple Leaf gold. Let me get this. Yep. So you're here, and you mind me uh, chatting with you? Oh, hey, no problem. Snapshot. What are you interested in getting? Um, that's a question. I, I'm not sure. We've been um, doing some rounds. But I'm not sure what you have because um, I, I'd be interested in looking at bars too. Well, um, I've been saying this for about two weeks. We have lots of stuff coming in. Uh, I do have some rounds. It depends on, on how many you're looking for. But we, we uh, take orders from all over the country all the time. And um, getting the material we're buying to cross in the reasonable period of time from the things that I'm selling. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't always work out the way we expect it to. A little to. bit of a challenge, Dave? Well, you know, the last guy I was in doesn't understand that you don't sell things for a spot. You have to sell things for, for a little more than they cost you. Mm -hmm. and, um, to your question. That right? was my question. Yeah. yeah and the, you know, the, the premiums are really set by supply and demand. Uh, as an example, the fellow who was here bought uh, five ounce bars. And they've taken the five ounce bars off the price list because mm. there's not enough inventory there to post them. I do want to ask you though, oh, what's your first name? Norm. Norm, how intimidating is it to get into stacking? I think it's kind of intimidating. Absolutely. Because, uh, you know, you know, it's something new for me. So I'm not sure where to go or where to put it, where to. You know, but I know I need it. It is overwhelming. You yeah. found the right guy, by the way. I see oh, that now. Thanks. <laughs> They're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah, once you start, you can't stop. <laughs> it is a little bit. That's all I talk about now. Really? Yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm glancing over at your wife. Is that true? Does he oh, yeah. only talk about gold and silver and stacking? <laughs> She's smiling. Pretty much. <laughs> In today's economy, I think you need to do something to uh, ensure that that dollar just keeps getting printed. It's uh, kind of like toilet paper. I can print toilet paper all day long. Yeah. Say hello to Yankee. Hello. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Hello. How are you? I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you so um, much. I'm new to stacking. Yeah, very new to stacking, but I was really interested in... Um, kind of pursuing the understanding of what stacking is, and you've been a great help. So well, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. Thanks for calling, Tim. Hey, um, do you mind if I just record our conversation? Oh, Say no, that would be fine. I mean, okay. I, I, I'm not, like I said, I'm new at stacking, so right. anything you ask me, <laughs> I probably will say I don't know. Go ahead. What are your uh, most important questions? 
what would be the advantage of me going towards bullion opposed to points? Okay. And silver, uh, not specifically silver. Yep. Um, well, the, the, the thing about the American Eagles and Maple Leafs and Philharmonics and Britannias, they all represent a country, whatever country they're from. Uh, so the, And they're called, called sovereign coins just because they represent a country. They have a tendency to be more expensive than the pure bullion per ounce. Um, but a, a lot of people say, well, I, I, I need to have American Eagles because they're the most liquid. And, you know, if silver goes up to... Uh, $50 an ounce, uh, where the prices tend to become the same for everything. Um, it's still the American Eagle and the Maple Leaf from Canada are widely recognized and um, probably easier to use as a barter currency. But um, the other thing that is also considered bullion um, and is a, a, an excellent one to use for barter would be the older... Um, pre-1965 dimes, quarters, and half dollars uh, because they're already recognized as money and all you have to do is apply whatever the silver price is to those to use them as, as a currency. Um, everybody has kind of a different uh, opinion as to what they want to stack or put away. Um, there's some things that I think you know, most people kind of agree on and that is... is um, if you have a chunk of money, let's say you have ten thousand dollars or five thousand, whatever it is, um, and you want to put some in gold and some in silver, usually you take the amount of money that you don't think you'll ever have to spend, um, but you want to have it there in an emergency, and that's where you put the gold, because um, gold gold is a pretty safe place to put your money, um, and it's been used as currency for you know three or four thousand years. Um, so and it's it's always been recognized as having value, um, but that's a good place to put the gold is the, that amount of money that you don't think you'll ever need to spend, but you want it there in case you do need it. Uh, silver is more and more every day becoming kind of a barter currency, and I know that I, I got a call from one of my uh, friends who is up at a farm stand in, in northern New Hampshire. And he said, hey, guess what? They're, they're taking silver in exchange for vegetables and fruit at this farm stand. So that's if you, awesome, you need man. anything, you know, wow. come on up and take a look. And I think that's going to be more and more uh, a yeah, widespread cool. around the country. Mm -hmm. We do have customers now who, in the towns they live in out west, um, they use silver coins exclusively at all the merchants in town. And uh, they post a price at 8.30 in the morning and again at 1.30 in the afternoon. And everybody you know, has the option of using either U.S. currency or silver for, uh, for uh, trade. Um, so I, I would say you, if you, you just want to have something that gives you uh, some bargaining power, uh, that's where you put the silver. And it, it doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, although if you get a lot of uh, large bars like the kilo size or 100 ounce bars, uh, you may down the road, if you see things going more toward a barter economy, you may want to um, trade some of the big, larger bars off for, for smaller pieces. And that should be, you'd be able to do that just about, you know, anywhere. You know, where are you from, by the way? I'm, I'm from the eastern shore um, on the Chesapeake Bay of Maryland, and it's interesting you're saying that because I'm a small farm, and I've been noticing that we've been having some silver trade, which I'd never, uh, in order, I'd never seen that before. And so I really found it helpful with Yankee stacking because it opened the door to someone like you who I can put my trust in. Um, it's been really helpful for you all to to, you know, share your, your knowledge and, and you know, and be good American citizens that, you know, watch out for their fellow, fellow Americans. So. Yeah, I'm, I, we're getting to the point where people need to start taking care of themselves. And, you know, there, there's a, a whole group of people in this country. Uh, we see a lot here in Manchester, New Hampshire. Strangely enough, I mean, I, there's one place in the world I would not be if I were homeless. Uh, unfortunately, we do have a, a fairly large homeless population here in Manchester, and um, 
I mean, you know, the, the police, the churches, the city are trying to do everything they can to keep these people alive. Yeah, but it's getting worse. It, 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 it is, is growing. It's growing every so day. Um, you have that where you are? We do. Um, of course, I'm outside of Washington and Baltimore and, you know, big cities. And what we're seeing more of is overflow to our neck of the woods. Uh, you know, like people are trying to get the, the city's too expensive and they're flowing out here, but there's no place for them here either. Well, everybody has a, a fair amount of uh, mental illness and drug addiction. Um, but we're seeing something very different. It, there, a lot of people just don't want to work. Mm. And, um, you know, it's, oh. it's hard to figure that. But, um, you know, to, to sleep in the um, under the shelter of a bus station and then get up and, and go beg on a street corner it just makes no sense to me. But uh, we're seeing more and more of that. Well, it's um, you find sometimes if you're if you're online and browsing uh, silver dealers, and things are getting confusing uh, because of the um, what they have in stock and what they would like to have in stock. Um, there is a worldwide shortage of silver. Um, it hasn't reached any extremes yet, but more often than not, if you're looking at a certain uh, silver dealer. Um, they're doing everything they can to have everything to offer it for for you, but sometimes you'll see something that you've never seen before for sale. Um, that's because they were able to get their hands on that. Uh, I know that we have um, we have with our wholesaler, which is a very large company, um, we're having some difficulty getting the five ounce bars, and um, Yankee has a company he works with that uh, can supply those. So everybody is slightly different. I think the wholesalers are doing the best they can to get everything of, and make it available to their customers. But it's it's kind of a difficult time. And, um, you know, until th this government gets back to normal, and we're kind of hoping it gets back to normal, um, things are probably not going to get any better. And, uh, you know, the, the all these... Um, um, you know the uh, the robber barons down there in New York City. Uh, they're all talking about worse uh, conditions than what we have now: higher inflation, yep. um, greater job loss. And every day we hear about another. Doesn't matter if it's a tech company or a manufacturer uh, laying off a thousand people or ten thousand people. And um, that's pretty dangerous because that what that creates is more homeless people on the streets. So the, 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 the fact that you're looking at precious metals to um, at least provide a little bit of safety for your, your uh, finances, um, that's a very good idea. And I, I think we'll see uh, in that industry alone, we're going to see a lot of growth almost immediately. Well, Beth, did you have something in mind now, or did you want to think about it and call back, or? Well, I'd actually like to um, kind of uh, broaden my horizon a little bit by understanding, like, I bought the, the reason I bought Silver Eagles was because I did a bit of research, and it seemed like, even though it was a little more expensive, it was, you know, like with the maple leaves, it was, you know, kind of your best long-term purchase that would stay the, stay the course. And so I am interested in um, maybe understanding a little bit more why I would want different, you know, different types of coins. And is there any, I guess, advantage to having a, a broader selection of coins back? Or is it just as smart to pay a little bit more and get your eagles and maples? Uh, yeah, there there are there are many reasons to have something that is close to the uh, spot price and in, in pure bullion, um, because a, a lot of people who are um, who have been buying American Eagles and Maple Leafs understand that the sovereign coins are actually more expensive. And the, on the sovereign coins, the the price of the sovereign coins is really supply and demand. Uh, the U.S. Mint has had trouble meeting the uh, the demand for uh, American Eagles for uh, quite a while. And that, you know, when the, um, the price of silver goes up to $50 an ounce, if it does, um, it won't matter what it is. 
everything will be coming would be bartering or trading hands at the same price. Uh, so you know, I, I you don't you know, having those is by the way they're the most liquid, the American Eagles and the Maple Leafs. Um, but there are, are drawbacks, and the drawbacks are they are also more expensive, and and the, their premiums right. are much higher than the spot price. So you, you want to have a mix, and you know, and a, a mix where if you um, you need to trade with people, and the only thing they'll accept is American Eagles. You want to have that option, yes. or if you're um, in a situation where you're you're buying things that are uh, where there's no premium involved, you want to have some bullion to do that. And the bullion is Got you. okay. Bullion's available in in many different ways. We we usually have the one ounce, five ounce, ten ounce bars, kilo size bars, hundred ounce bars. And you know, one ounce coins are a variety of uh, silver rounds that are available. Um, but in the sovereign coins, you know, right around the twenty-nine dollar range would be uh, Maple Leafs and Britannias and Philharmonics. I mean, they might be one might be twenty-eight dollars. Um, most of the bullion is around the twenty-seven dollar range right now. So the the bullion is less expensive, and and sovereign coins are. They're nice to own because they're not boring like bullion, um, but the you want to you want to have a mix. I have one last question, if you don't mind. It, it is, um, I was thinking I'm going to buy silver now because gold has you know kind of gone up. Um, I was thinking about buying silver now, and then you know when gold either stabilizes or hopefully doesn't go up that much more, um, start investing in some gold. Does that seem like a you know, basically okay plans? It does, but you, you want to make sure you don't lose the opportunity to buy gold at a reasonable price. And um, okay. it, it's looking mm -hmm. like, you know, gold, It's the pattern is like a sawtooth. It goes, <laughs> goes up and corrects and goes up and corrects. Um, it really, the, the slope is still positive, um, but I, I think the, you know, when, when uh, gold takes a, a turn for, the, you know, up around the two thousand dollar range, uh, you may have lost some opportunity. So I would, you know, keep an eye on it. If it looks like it's, uh, you know, the uh, the two hundred day moving average is positive, um, then you, you may want to um, get some before it's gone. Yeah. Right, we'll take care, Beth. Bye. Bye bye. Wow, she asked your questions by proxy, and he answered them for you as well as her. What a great way to... I figured a lot of it out already. Yeah. People my age, you know, we fall back on dimes, quarters, and half dollars because they're already currency. When I was very young, we used to go to a beach club in the, in the summertime. My mother would give me a walking liberty half dollar because I was a coin collector when I was starting from age five, okay? And so I was able to get a hamburger, a Coke, an ice cream, and I had a dime left over to call home in case there was a thunderstorm. <laughs> but, um, you know, so I'm very partial to the okay. junk silver or 90% or constitutional silver, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, that is probably the equivalent... Um, it's uh, buying a quantity of... Constitutional silver is a little more than a maple leaf, but less than an American eagle in price. Okay. And um, so, but it's right up there. And the reason it, it is as high as it is is because it's disappearing pretty rapidly. And uh, you know, they haven't made any since 1964. Right. Um, when I look at the prices that my wholesaler is charging for junk junk silver, constitutional silver, uh, it looks like the half dollars are much more expensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, that tells me that they're disappearing from the market pretty quickly. Can I give you my two cents really quick? Yes. So American Silver Eagles, Canadian Maple Leafs, the Sovereign Silver he's talking about, a lot of people buy that, even at the higher premiums, because they're looking for resale pur purposes. To sell that back, to be able to get some more mm -hmm. fiat currency on the sale, because there tends to be a, a higher resale premium back when you, you know, sell it to a dealer. However, I also like to stack it. I told you it was my tier one target because of that recognizability, that trust that comes, not trust in the government, but trust that it was made by a sovereign right. mint. They can trust it. And at some point, you mentioned too, when it comes to barter, there may be some that say, you know what? I know what an eagle is. 
That's going to be priced, and I will take Eagle. So you want to have that flexibility. However, I totally agree when it comes to, you know, stacking for bulk, getting rounds and getting constitutional silver right. is a great way to barter. If you're not planning on selling that back for more dollars, that's what you hold on to in case the, you know, an SHTF scenario hits, right? Exactly. That's essentially true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. So what are you going to get? Um, so let's go back to rounds. Do you have any, um, uh, I Buffalo do. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I, I have a lot that are supposed to go out to these, these sales and around the country. Uh, I can, I can dip into that, what, what few that I have left. And then how about bar, you said you don't have any bars right now. Um, I have some bars. Okay. And you can spare for this gentleman? Yes. First time yeah. in, right? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> they are going fast. I love that. I think I like those better than the extruded or pressed. You know, it just has that, that poor look. Very nice, huh? They all look good. That's a Canadian bar. This is the one that's got the higher premium. Yeah, it's twenty dollars more than the other one. Yeah, it's it's the Royal Canadian Mint. It's almost like a. Can I call it a sovereign bar? <laughs> well, quite, right? it is, yeah. <laughs> but the, not many countries have bars. I think I'm. I think I'm with the ink on this one. I think I kind of like this one. Isn't that one? Like, like it has a. It has a nice look to it. A great <laughs> paperweight. Like <laughs> oh, this is a different one, Tim. It is. Um, all the last shipment of 10 ounce bars we got and the 5 ounce bars were this type. That's uh, Silvertown, I think. The Buffaloes. Uh, very, very popular. Wow, that one's beautiful, too. And you only have one left of that one. I do. Okay. Just one? Well, I may have some uh, Etel Preciosi. I put some way back there. I like, you know, they're this, all the same price. Yeah, let's add this up and see where we're at. <clears throat> sure. So these will be your first silver bars, am I right? Yeah, I never bought one of these before. That's something new. Great. Really handsome looking. Yep, you're only up to uh, five twenty-two fifty. Oh, then we need more. <laughs> you, <laughs> we need not more enough. Of this one too. <laughs> Do you have any uh, the the one that you were saying, the ego? Oh yeah. yes, the American ego. Yeah, Can I have I see? lots of back dates. Um, yeah, let me show you. Act dates, not 2020, right. 2023. Right. Yeah, they're still pricey. I think they're. I think they're coming down. I think they're coming down. Probably in beginning of February. That's what they look like. Oh, that is just beautiful. Yeah, it's the quintessential silver coin right there. It's beautiful. Mm. I think I'll take this for today. Probably hold off on that for right now. Okay. What's that last thing you got there? Oh, I got some of my famous uh, it's oh, it's sealed oh, state up. Right. Yeah, it's sealed. <laughs> <laughs> never to be open again. And you'll never show anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's rarefied air that's in there. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> it's like, it's well, like the the mosquito in the uh, what's it amber in, the amber, in yeah. Jurassic Park. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's sealed, well, never to be opened. Well, thank you so much. I thank appreciate you, so you much, coming yeah. in here and you watching my channel. And uh, you got a coaster. If you email me, I'll send you a sticker as well. How's that? Perfect. All right. Take care. You will too. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. I appreciate it. Thank you.